Hello everybody, this is Mrs Richardson and I'm reading one of my favourite books. It's called Six Dinner Sid and I used to read it to my children all the time when they were little. Now they're 30 and 28, they don't really seem to want to read it. Inga Moore is the writer and when I was looking for it, I was quite surprised when I opened it up and I found this inside and it's some pressed flowers, pressed petals and I used to have a beautiful black cat and on the day that he died, I picked some petals, some uh, poppy petals, and I put them inside and I've forgotten all about it until today. And it said he was sadly missed and much loved and he died on the 24th of September 2016. So quite a long time ago now. But he was the most beautiful black cat. And obviously, I chose to put it in 16 acid to remind me of him. What a lovely memory. Okay, here we go. So... It's one of my favourite books, as I said. I really love all of the different drawings inside, so I'll do my best to try and show you all the different pictures and take my time so you can have a good look at the drawings. Okay, so Sid lived at number one, Aristotle Street. He also lived at number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Sid lived in six houses so that he could have six dinners. Each night he would slip out of number one where he might have had chicken, into number two for fish, onto number three for lamb, mince at number four, fish again at number five rounding off a number at number six with beef and kidney stew look at his fat dumba rumba there what a greedy cat since no one talked to their neighbors in aristotle street no one knew what sid was up to they each believed the cat was theirs and theirs alone But Sid had to work hard. Not, not my focus. But Sid had to work hard for his dinners. It wasn't easy being six people's pet. He had to, six different names to remember and six different ways to behave. When he was being scaramouche, Sid put on a, on swanky airs. As Bob, he had a job. Here he is as Bob. He was naughty as Satan and silly as Sally. As, as sooty, he smooched, but as Schwartz, he had to act rough and tough. All this work sometimes wore Sid out, but he didn't care as long as he had his six dinners. And besides, he liked being scratched in six different places, under his chin, on his head, around his neck, on his back, on his tummy, and on his chest. And sleeping in six different beds. He's on a green chair, he's in a cupboard, Oh, looks like he's on a bed. He's been given his own bed there. He's in a box. And he's in a basket. In fact, life in Aristotle Street was just about perfect for Sid until da, 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 one cold camp. One cold, damp day, he caught a nasty cough. The next thing he knew, he was being taken to see the vet. Poor Sid, he was not taken just once. Not twice, but six times. He went with six different people in six different ways. He walked there in a box, 
I think he's going in a basket on the back of a bike in the front of a convertible being carried there and he's in a fishing basket on a bicycle there the vet said Sid's cough was, wasn't nearly as nasty as it sounded but to be on the safe side Sid should have a spoonful of medicine of course Sid didn't have just one spoonful of medicine uh oh he had one two three four oh he's looking a bit cross there five six it looks like it's saying no there no now one black cat does look much like another but nobody not even a busy vet could see the same cat six times without becoming suspicious sure enough when he checked in his appointment book the vet found six cats with a cough all living in aristotle street so he rang the owners at once Oh, they all look a bit cross. He looks furious. Oh dear, Sid was found out. When they discovered what he'd been up to, Sid's owners were furious. They said he had no business eating so many dinners. Uh oh. They said in future, they would make sure he only had one dinner a day. Poor Sid. But Sid was a six dinner a day cat. So he went to live at number one Pythagoras place. He also went to live at number two, three, four, five and six. Unlike Aristotle Street, the people who lived in Pythagoras Place talked to their neighbours. So right from the start, everybody knew about Sid's six dinners. What's he up to? Oh, he's climbing in a window now. And because everybody knew, nobody minded. Look at his happy little face. Everybody looks very happy with him. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. It's one of my favourites and I've not read it for quite some time. So I hope you enjoy it and you can always borrow it if you'd like to see it again. Okay, bye bye.